This is hydrogen tap. Over just about a year ago I started working on this hydrogen project. One of my first experiments was a solid core of stainless steel wrapped with a porous insulator and then wrapped wire around it. The thin wire, which if you go back you'll see those videos, the very first ones, worked really well and then I started going further from that. The fin is an offshoot of that, which I keep coming back to to see the properties to see what I can do with it. This will be the last in series of three on the fin and I'm going to show you exactly how this is put together. There's some rather interesting pieces to this and since it is made out of fine wire which you should be able to buy anywhere I think uh, it'll be an excellent thing to experiment with. I'm going to turn it on right now so you can remember what's going on with it. If you notice, this is all hydrogen coming up from the center. The reason that is because I've got two plates, one on each side, plate on each side that is positive. The hydrogen plate, or this wire centerpiece, is negative. I'm going to have to turn it off. I'm going to show you how this is put together. It's got some interesting things you can do with it is one of the reasons I keep coming back to it. I will be going back to the stainless steel plates after this video. That's because the plates have more area to them. But having said that, this is also interesting and the more data we get on the hydrogen the better. One of the things with this fin is that those strands which are not insulated have very very little place for the hydrogen bubbles to stick to and as soon as you turn it off the hydrogen leaves it which you can see, I've showed you that a couple of times. Once you turn this system off, the hydrogen, all of it, goes up to the top. One of the interesting parts on this system is that it's designed to have four positive plates. There's two on this one, one on each side. There should be four, one behind it and one in front. And what you do is you alternate the plates with positive so that you get a winding effect. So what you're doing is activating the bubbles all the way around it in a winding effect. You do it very quickly and you should create even more hydrogen or that's in theory. This, the way you're seeing it work right now, does not do that. That's one of the pieces I was getting ready to go to. The neat thing about this particular cell is that since all the hydrogen is coming up from the center, you've essentially separated the hydrogen from the oxygen. The oxygen goes to the negative, goes to the positive plates on each side. I'm going to open this up and let you see what it looks like. Again, you can go to hydrogentap.com if you want to see the other cells I'm working on. Boy, <coughs> hydrogen here is pretty dense. Or you can write me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. That's the site is hydrogentap.com or johnarons at hydrogentap.com. And we can take this apart now and I'll show you how she's put together.
can see this is fine wire. As fine a wire as you can get is what you put here in as much of it as you can. You want to make sure the strands are separated. And as you can see, there's four sides to this. Those are the fins that have come off the sides. So the ideal situation, or one of the ideas, is to have the positive plates on both sides, all four sides, and alternate them around so you get a spinning effect as the bubbles are being activated around it. I don't know whether that will work, but it is an idea of mine. What you saw here, the hydrogen coming off of this, that was not happening. I had it straight positive on both sides, two plates. So this is insulator, 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 and the wires are wrapped around with one lead coming out. And that, of course, you attach to the negative. The negative is the hydrogen side. If I was to go into this further, I would make them smaller and make a few of them so they all fit together as a cell. Each one of these would be considered a cell. Hope that helped explain how this thing is working. This again is a prototype. It's not exactly ready for presentation, but I decided it was interesting enough that I think a lot of people would gain some more knowledge, if you will. There is one request I have from everybody, and that is remember that I do not push products, name brand products, on this site. And there's a reason for that. They have plenty of money, and for them to get free publicity, I think, I don't know, it goes against my grain. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. So if you mention a name brand, on your comments, it will not get published. I think most people understand that by now, and it's just one of my quirks. I hope this has helped, and I hope someone will pick up where I left off. Again, you can write me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com if you want, or go to my site, HydrogenTap.com. Right now, in the next video, I hope to show you a new method of running them, and uh, we'll see what kind of charge we get through it. I'm going to be putting over 100 volts through the Aaron cell and I think you're going to see a lot of answers or a lot of questions that will be answered. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write me, John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com. I hope I've explained everything. I've gotten a lot of emails on this. If you want to write me, you can write to John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. I hope this has helped. This is one interesting cell.